All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. Back here today. Wait for the magic. Topper Tuesday. That's right. And what we're going to be talking about today, this little guy right here. Now, I've been a big fan of this since the beginning. I loved the version one, and I really, really like the version two. Of course, we're talking about the Zephyrus tank from you. This is the Zephyrus version two RTA rebuildable tank atomizer. And in order to get to know this just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we always do every single time. Quick, short, upy, closey time. <clears throat> Yeehaw, all right. Well, what we got here is the Zephyrus version two. This is a top fill RTA from China. We're just gonna go over it from top to bottom. So first things first, pop off the drip tip. This is where you fill it. It's a lot like the Inokin filling system in that you twist this, you'll see the rubber seal, the red rubber seal all the way around it, and then you just bleh, fill up your juice in there, in there. Most of the time you can leave your drip tip on if you have like a more fine point filling bottle, but if you're using a glass dripper bottle, you're gonna wanna take your drip tip off, open those up and just put your glass dripper right in there, Bleh, fill it up, works, works unbelievably well. The tank itself is made out of Pyrex and is a five mil capacity tank, which is honestly pretty great. Although it does drink a lot of juice, you do have some nice five mil capacity in there. You got your airflow on the bottom, which doesn't necessarily click into any positions. It kind of just spins like this, but once you get it where you want it and you screw it down onto your device, I've had very, very little issues with this coming out of place. It generally stays exactly where I want it to, which is to say I leave it full open all the time. Now, this is held on by an O-ring that you can pop this off for easy cleaning. Let's just disassemble this right now. The whole thing unscrews to take it apart. There's your deck right there. The deck unscrews out of the base and then the housing of the deck comes off as well. And there's your tiny little build deck. As you can see, nothing super, super impressive. It's a four post design, tiny little wire holes right there. Phillips head screws on top. This is where you're going to, you know, have your juice coming up. You're gonna have your wicks right here. Big kidney shaped airflow slots right there. This tank has really, really nice airflow. What you're gonna wanna do on here is just build small, tiny, tight little coils. I'm gonna build this and then I'm gonna wick it and show you guys how I do that as well. It's basically, you wick it the exact same way as the original Zephyrus or as the Goblin Mini as well. This tank also comes off of the top part via O-ring for easy cleaning. There's the rest of your chimney right there. It's a small little chamber. You get some really nice flavor, but you still get some nice airflow. You can see the juice flow holes or the juice, you know, fill holes right there. So what I'm going to do is pop this back into the base. I'm going to build it. I'm going to wick it. We are going to get back out to normal view and we are going to vape it. So we're going to be building this today with some 26 gauge anarchist wire around a two millimeter post, which looks like yeah, that's gonna fit in there just perfect. Sizing it up again, I did about an eight wrap 26 gauge on there. Looks like it's gonna just fit in there fine. All we have to do is install it. Get that coil nice and centered in there right over your airflow. There's not a whole lot of room on this deck, so you gotta build small and you gotta build close. And I like to lift them up a little bit, give you a little bit more room for airflow underneath your coil. All right, well, now that we got the coils in there and they're all glowing nice and evenly, what we're gonna do is wick it. Now, we're not gonna be using a whole hell of a lot of wick. I've got a small piece of Kogendo organic cotton here, maybe, I don't know, a centimeter across because these coils are small. They're only two millimeters in diameter. We're gonna be using a little bit less cotton than we would obviously say in a dripper with bigger coils. So once you got those wicks all nice and in there, we're gonna do what we did on the Goblin Mini and on the Zephyrus version one, we're gonna lift all our wicks up into one little fun bundle up here. Something that looks like that. And then we're gonna take the top cap of our RTA base, 
We're gonna slide this over. And once it's over the wicks, we just screw it down to the base. And then we're gonna need to cut all these wicks off. But what I like to do is just separate them out by wick so that you can cut them off one at a time. So you can kind of see which one is which, where the screws are, where the coil is, how much you're gonna need to cut off. You can just try to cut them all off flush at the top. But what I'd much, much rather do is just cut them, cut them individually. Just like that, look at that flat top haircut. Maybe trim these down, I don't know, a little bit, as much as you possibly can. Cut off just as much wick as you can, just to make them, make sure they're nice and flush and flat on there. Next step is to grab a little flat head screwdriver and start pushing these wicks down in there. Easiest way to do it is to kind of separate the wicks, look at where your screws are, and you know that those two middle positive screws, that's exactly where your coils are going to be. So you want to just stuff it all, stuff all the wicks down in there. Done! You're good! Then take whatever juice you're going to be using, just drip some juice on there. Just don't flood it, don't fill it up, don't go bananas, just... Eh, a little bit of juice on each side. Make sure the wicks are getting a little bit of juice on each side. We're almost done. We just got to fill the tank, but first we got to make sure. Oh, that's right. Vapors. So you just pop on the glass, screw it all together, make sure it's all nice and tight. Then what you want to do, open up that juice flow right there. And then we're going to uh, fill it up. Just again, take whatever juice you want and put the dropper bottle right up to one of these holes and just squeeze it out. And this is gonna be very messy because I'm trying to do it on camera. And the tank is full. Let's get back out to normal view now. Let's vape this. Using and building RTAs is always a little bit of a balancing act between how big you need to make your coils, how much wick you need to use, where you need to kind of put those wicks, how thick your juice is. Sometimes if you have a thicker juice, you're gonna be using maybe a little bit less wick. And if you have a thinner juice, maybe you're gonna be using a little bit more wick. The way that I showed you just now in the up close where you pull the wicks up, you cut them off and you stuff them down, that seems to be the best way I've found to do a lot of these Ud tanks. It's the same way I did the Zephyrus version one, and it's the same way I did the Goblin mini, and it's the same way I do the Zephyrus version two. The airflow, open, nice and swooshy, and it crackles like a good tank should. The flavor on it is top notch, and it's a nice big five mil tank with a top fill system. This top fill system is exactly, exactly like the Inokin top fill system in that you twist the top, you have two holes right there, you go bleh, fill your juice in, twist the top again, that's it. There's no juice valves to shut off, there's no unscrewing of the top cap, there's no breaking the seal on the vacuum that's created inside your tank. It literally couldn't be easier. For glass dripper bottles, yeah, you're gonna have to take off your drip tip and squeeze it in there. It might make a little mess on the top and on the outside, and then you grab your little towel and you wipe it off. But for other juice bottles, like 60 mil, 30 mil juice bottles with like nice pointy tips or unicorn bottles, you don't even have to take your drip tip off. You literally just twist it and put the nose in there of it and squeeze it and it's awesome. Now the Zephyrus version two does come with its own coil heads that go in there, but honestly, I never really got a good vape on them. I wouldn't even bother using the coil heads. What you're buying this tank for is for the base, for the RDA base that goes in there. Now the RDA base, yeah, it's a little bit claustrophobic. You have to build some, some tight coils in there close to the post holes and get your wicks in there and stuff them down. But once you do all this, it's great. The airflow is top notch. The flavor is top notch and it just feels, I, I just like the vape experience that I get from this tank. So are you gonna need your vape budget where aliens come down and take all of my vape gear, including all of my, my RTAs? Is the Ud Zephyrus version two something I would seek out and buy? Absolutely. This has been one of my 
favorite, 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 favorite tanks. It's easy to build on, it's easy to wick, I get great performance, I get great airflow, and I get great flavor. It's something that I would absolutely, without even thinking twice, buy again, especially 29 bucks. What? That to me seems like a really screaming deal for this tank, but I'm gonna wrap this up before I get too rambly. I'll have a couple links down in the description where you can check it out further if you're interested, but yeah, it is what it is, and it is the Zephyrus version two. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching, and as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. That's enough.